number. Please do step forward. I would like to reiterate the criteria for the top five. Preliminary interview or the intelligence is 30%, 60% for beauty, and 10% for audience impact. So, first finalist for the top five is... Candidate number... 19. Join you in the top five. Candidate number. You are lucky tonight. 13. The Tower in Beauty. Candidate number 13 from Egypt. Our third finalist. Is candidate number what number? Number thirty three zero thirty. Grabe si nanay change outfit na naman. Hindi magdadagdag bayad si Sir Arnel. Yan. Pag-artista ka, magbibihis ka talaga. Grabe. Charot. Okay. Then, from number 30, um, going up. Is this going up? Believe it or not, she's in because she deserves it. The most articulate candidate, number nine. Wow. Philippines. This is a beautiful batch. Ex I totally agree. We have I hosted last it. year and... Exactly. Uh, this one is definitely this a strong batch. It's a beautiful and strong batch. Meron talagang nag emerge sa sana talaga yes. because of their answers and my back. And their uh, <laughs> background, their life. Exactly. Completing, and of course, the judges' decision have decided the one last spot goes to candidate number. Number. Candidate number, number 36. 36. Paano yung palakpak? <laughs> Grabe yung energy ng audience. Thank you, ladies. Congratulations. You still have many, many chances every year. Once again, judges. Congratulations to the top we five. We present to you, of course. So we have common questions, Sir Arnel. Um, different question. A different question. Ah, so different question, but same way. Magkakaparehas ang bigat. Wait, yes. Kasi kapag, Iba, syempre parang simple and difficult. Oh, tas biglang difficult. Di ba, Sir Ramon? Magaling yun <laughs> si Sir Ramon. <laughs> Mahirap i-compare. <laughs> Nag-artista pa ako kung pangit yung suot ko. <laughs> Di ba, Sir Arnel? 50,000 tayo ngayon. <laughs> Apat na yung gown ko. Grabe. Ay, si Nakshi Chari, mabait yan. Mamaya. Of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take 10 quid tayo mamaya. In old up. Para Hello, na akong yung mga comedian din. <laughs> okay. Judges, so what's the final criteria? Our final criteria. We have different question. 50-50. Uh, 50-50. Once again, judges, beauty is subjective and um, intelligence is again subjective. Yes. Pag may umiyak, ipanalo nyo. <laughs> Charot. <laughs> okay. Congrats. Ay, ang galing nakapasok. This is your rehabilitation night. Yes. <laughs> Okay, good luck. Palakpakan. Handa na kayo. Palakpakan kayo kasi next year mahal na ako dahil may pelikula na ako. Sige kayo. Charot. Taray. Charot lang. Okay, di ko napapansinin ni si Sir Arnel. Charot lang. 
Si Sir Jesse na lang. Pag kinuha ako, 100K na lang po. Wow, grabe. <laughs> Parang isang production. Hahabulin ako ng BIR. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Our first semi-finalist. Ladies, iba-iba kayo ng katanungan. Kaya don't worry. Okay, next sheet. They will pick from these envelopes. Okay, from that envelope contains the question. Okay, here is your final question. Handlers, supporters, once again, back to zero sila. 50-50. 50 kagandahan kung maganda sa paningin ng hurado. Bahala sila kung ano ang gandang inaanap nila. At 50 according sa pagsagot ng katanungan to. Okay, your final question, number 19. What hobby would you get into if time and money weren't an issue? What hobby would you get into if time and money weren't an issue? Tatagalogin ko? Sabi ko sa'yo, matalino ako eh. Ano bang hobby? Charon. Hobby, yung anong kakahiligan mo kung, kung ang oras at uh, pera ay hindi importante o hindi problema. Mas magaling sa akin si Anna. Keri na na. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm very nervous. This is so unexpected. Okay. You so rehabilitate <laughs> yourself first. <laughs> so the question that yes, I picked no. was, what hobby would you get into if time and money weren't an issue? Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to sound emotional again, but if time and money was not an issue, what was that hobby that I will do? It is to pray to the Lord. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, time and money is the biggest issue nowadays. And we tend to forget to pray to the Lord, to thank Him for everything that He has given to us. Sa sobrang busy po natin sa ating mga trabaho, binubuhay ang ating sarili. Nakakalimutan na po natin magdasal at magpasalamat sa poong may kapal na nagbigay buhay sa atin, na nagbigay oras sa atin, na nagbigay ng talento na kakayahan upang tayo ay magkapera. Kaya sana kahit may oras tayo, kahit may pera tayo, habang tayo ay nabubuhay pa, magpasalamat tayo sa poong may kapal dahil kahit anuman ang nangyari sa ating buhay, sa kinahigpit ng ating kahapon, andyan lagi ang puong may kapal upang tulungan tayo bumangon ulit. Wala man tayong pera o wala man tayong inaasikaso sa bawat oras. Huwag nating bibilangan kung ilang beses tayong nadapa sa buhay. Ngunit bilangan natin kung ilang beses tayong bumangon sa buhay at nagbigay saya sa mga tao at higit sa lahat ang saya ng buong may kapal sa ginagawa natin. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much. Judges, our first finalist, South Africa. Thank Congratulations. You. Okay. Our second finalist, ladies and gentlemen, okay. candidate number 30, Sri Lanka. Susuot-suot ka kasi ng ganyan eh. Pinahirapan niyo ako. Nawawala ang poise ko. Alam niyo ba sikat ako? Charot. <laughs> Joke lang. Okay. Next, of course, your question. Pick your question. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to greet the panel of judges. Maraming salamat po talaga. Okay. Good luck. Thank you po. Sri Lanka, your question is, what would a mirror opposite of yourself be like? What would a mirror opposite of yourself be like? Thank you so much for that very interesting question. So the question that was given to me is what would a mirror opposite to myself be like? Most definitely, a mirror, if you would look, if you would look at it, it would not reciprocate yourself completely. Your right side would be your left and your left side would be your right. Ladies and gentlemen, as an LGBT member, we have always been seen as something that is left or wrong. But however, the mirror itself would in the opposite way, I see myself 
as right. Nakikita kong tama ang buong pagkatao ko, even if a lot of people would not accept me fully as to who and what I am. Naniniwala po ako na kahit hindi ako tanggap at mamahalin ng kahit sino, I will never care. Because what matters is what I see in the mirror. And if I see a smile that reciprocates what I feel in my heart, within my family, that is what matters most. And the only thing that we can do most definitely is to always teach young children on how to respect and be considerate of others. Naiisipin lang kapakanan na ibang tao kung, makakahit, kung makakasakit ba sila sa salita o sa gawa na dapat turuan natin ng mga bata na magbigay ng saya sa kahit sino, ano man ang gender mo. Let's never see the gender, the economic status, or what color of the skin may be. Because children have always been open-minded. Injustice, discrimination, hate, and disrespect, these are all teach. However, ladies and gentlemen, as a person who stands before a mirror, the only thing that I can do, most definitely, is to stand behind my two feet and see myself. Kung di man po ako nakikita ng ibang tao, sa kung paano ko nakikita ang sarili ko, hindi ako bakla. Ang nakikita ko sa isang salamin ay isang guro na kayang baguhin ang pananaw na ibang tao tungo sa mga kabaklaan na katulad ko. Dahil mga kaibigan, kulang na po ang mga tao na gugustuhin pang pagbabago sa mundo. At kung gusto mo ng pagbabago, always remember ladies and gentlemen, stand it before yourself. Because I always believe in the saying that goes, ex nihilan hilfit akta non verba. That from nothing comes nothing. And that you should always act much more than what you should say. Simply lamang po, kung di ka tinatanggap ng tao sa pagkakatingin mo sa sarili mo, huwag ka dapat puro salita, baguhin mo, ibukas mo ang kamay mo, ipakita mo sa gawa. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much, Sri Lanka. The question was really very tricky. So yes, the judges. Yes, very tricky question. Hi, Ma'am Amy. <laughs> Are you still okay? Kong lang siya. Hi, sir. Okay, next. Is candidate number 36. 36. The lovely, sexy, in bias. <laughs> Julia Barreto. Yeah. Hi, Julia. Hello, madam. Thank you for your smile. Let's see. Okay, pick your question. Okay, now. What's the dumbest thing you've done that actually turned out pretty well? What's the dumbest thing you've done that actually turned out pretty well? What's the dumbest or dumbest? Ano ang pinaka? Apano ang Tagalog nito? Katangay. Ay, magaling ka, ha? Pinaka... Pangit kasi yung term na tanga eh. Pero yun talaga yun. Ang pinaka nakakaloka, nakakatangang ginawa mo sa buhay mo. Pero ang kinalabasan, maganda. Okay? Thank you for that question. Well, my answer would be correct for me, wrong for you, correct for you, wrong for me. And I believe, ladies and gentlemen, the dumbest thing that I do is that I became part of a LGBT community. Because ladies and gentlemen, it became pretty. Because look at me now. I am earning money in joining beauty pageants. I can feed my family. And I believe that in every single thing in this world has a own purpose. And that purpose would bring us benefit. And I believe ladies and gentlemen that what Mother Teresa says, Life is just an echo. Whatever you do, it bounces back at you. And ladies and gentlemen, in that way, I can help myself, my friends, my family, and most especially, our community. Because ladies and gentlemen, that being a gay is not a mistake in the eyes of the others, but we don't deserve to be discriminated or to be insulted. We must respect as we respect other people. That would be all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Candidate number 36. Dumbest. Yeah. How Maybe do you pronounce others. it? Dumbest? Dumbest. Dumbest. Sir Ramon, paano yun? Dumbest? Dumbest. Like a dummy. It's a silent... At meron tayong ano, AB communication. I seldom use that word kasi. Si Ma'am Chari, tanongin natin dyan. Dumbest. A dummy. As in dummy? With ano pa? I'm from, from Basay, Samar. That's why... 
Ateneo and Bose Summer is different. <laughs> <laughs> Joke. I love you, Nachi. <laughs> okay, let's see who could answer the dumbest. <laughs> Joke. Candidate okay. number nine. Again, Philippines. Could she sustain? <laughs> she looks like Janine Togonon in the screen. In fairness. Loving it. Okay. Me, how do I look in the screen? Oh, I'm a big mama. <laughs> with a you but have a pretty face honestly it's not about uh, the size but it matter in different way like joa oh, green minded na naman yeah yeah <laughs> okay let's see if she could sustain articulateness with this question what is something that is considered a luxury but you don't think you could live without. What is something that is considered as a luxury, but you don't think you could live without? In my life, I have been blessed to have been privileged because my parents have allowed me to give a good education. My parents have allowed me to stay inside a home uh, that is very beneficial to us. But if there's one luxury that I could live without, it's actually money. Because for me, the fact that I am accepted by my parents at home and they have made me live the best I can be, given me the education that I needed to fight for what I believe is right and what I think is beneficial for that, I was sustained. So even without money, Therefore, with the love of my parents, we can handle anything. We could do anything. And above all, we can sustain anything. Yes, you may think that money is definitely something that is inevitable in our lives. But for me, the fact that I am here and I have already seen a lot of things in my life, I am with my family and I'm proud to say, I could live without my money because my family is more than enough. Thank you. Oh. Thank you very much, candidate number nine. We definitely have yeah. difficult questions tonight. I could live without <laughs> pain. <laughs> Tolerable. Uy, mahirap yun. Sino gumawa ng tanong? Taray. Sino? <laughs> Ay, taray ni Tita Arnel. Ina America, ina America nyo yung mga tanong. Oo, oo nga. Simple words, but the situation, if you'll go into it, very it's, tricky. It's kind of different and uh, unusual. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> oh, <Okay. Ayan. laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's move forward to candidate number thirteen. Alam, I I love the reaction of the judges. Napaka ano nila poker face. Alam ko yung ismid ng mata, yung dito nila, ma'am. <laughs> Talaga tumitingin lang sila. Pero alam ko kung sinong intindi nila eh. Nakakaaliw. Hindi katulad ko pag ako kasi sumagot, pumapalakpak agad. Naluloko ko sila. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good luck, Nakshi. Okay. Here is another simple American question from Hawaii. If Hawaii is a volcano place, what do you think is the naval kilometer from the Philippines? Male. Joke. Here it is. What is something you will never do again? Allah, Miss Universe. What is something you will never do again? Okay. The question that was given to me is what is something that I will never do again? You know what, ladies and gentlemen, to this kind of question, we don't really need to really use our full potential of intelligence. Rather, we should answer from our heart. You know what, if there is one thing that I will never do again, that is to hide myself, my identity, my being me. Because I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that it is never right to be a transgender, uh, or it's never wrong to be a transgender person. Nakakatawang isipin na ang dami-daming taong nang husga. Husga nang husga sa mga bakla na wala namang ibang gunawa kundi magpasaya. At ito pa ang nakakatawa. Ang mga tao ay nagiging makajos 
nagiging makabanal, nagiging makaalam sa kung ano ang nakasaad sa Biblia at ginagamit ito upang manghusga ng kanilang kapwa. Well, you know what? It is never, ever, ever a sickness or a bad thing to be part of the LGBTQ community. So I am proud that I am free to express myself here, especially here in La Union. Last night, I watched a pageant that is open for the LGBT community. And you know what is my reaction? Wow, this people really deserve the love and respect of the whole LGBTIQ community simply because they are, are showing their love to them. Support lang ng support, laban ng laban, sabi nga nila. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, for all of this that is happening right now, the organizations of the LGBTIQ community here in La Union, I am proud to say, thank you so much for opening these doors for us. Thank you so much for uplifting our community because without you, there wouldn't be a such a glamorous and festive pageant like this. So if there is one thing that I will never do again, that is to hide my identity. Lagi po natin pakatatandaan, kung alam mong wala kang masasaktan, wala kang maaapakan, bakit hindi mo ipakita ang tunay mong pagkatao? Sabi nga nila, hashtag laban bading. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is our final finalist, candidate number 13. Thank you, ladies. And that concludes the final. Top five finalists, of Q course. Next, who will it be? Ladies, thank you very much. You have made the life of the honorable panel judges difficult. Yes. <laughs> Medyo nag-deliberate na sila, yeah. may discussion na among the judges. Siguro tatabi tayo. Thank you and congratulations, <laughs> ladies. You all did well and you're definitely Your gorgeous. organizer, do they still have the final um, look or they have to take a rest first? Okay. Final look. Final look. Judges, here is the final look of this year's Miss Gay San Fernando Universe La Union. Beginning with... Five finalists. Candidate number 30. Rehabilitated, beautiful Miss South Africa. Congratulations. Up next is Miss Belgium. Belgium, who believes that her dombuche should don and turn out well. Of course, being an LGBT, let us see if the judges won't get downed. Once again, number 36. She find it dumbest, but for me it's decent and turned out pretty well. Once again, Belgium. And Up next, next, candidate Nine. number nine. Candidate number nine. Aside from luxury, of course, she can live without her family. The question was, she can live without.
Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the neophyte for this pageant, number nine. And the last but not the least, candidate number 13. Number 13. Hiding is her answer. So the best answer for the night, hide and seek. Let's see if the judges can take their job. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies, acting audience, palakpakan po natin, anong oras na? Alauna. Wow. 12? 12.29? 12.29. Okay, ang galing. Ayan. Yung basher sa Facebook na alas 4 na naman daw matatapos. Ble. Charot. Okay. Joke lang. Anyway, did you know, ladies, that we will be announcing already the winners? We have the result. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready na. Okay, ready? Smile. Smile na. Ready. Okay. Angelica. To present the fourth runner-up, we have Mr. Gerald Austria and Miss Daisy Sabado. Fourth runner-up. Okay. Mom Daisy Sabado and Sir Gerald Austria. Sino sa palagay nyo ang fourth runner-up? Garnering an average score of 83.89 percent, Miss Gay. San Fernando Universe La Union's fourth runner-up is candidate number... Candidate number... 19. Number 19, Miss... Belgium. I'm in South Africa. Ladies, good luck. Next, and she will be receiving, of course, a ganong cash prize po sa fourth runner-up. 5,000. If I'm not mistaken, it's 20, 15, 10, 7, 5. Okay, receiving 5,000 okay, pesos. 5, Bouquet, staff toy, of course, and a beautiful garland. Okay. Congratulations. Up next is the third runner-up. The presenters for this award, Miss Cynthia Malley and Miss April Mercado. Garnering an average score of 91.89. Our third runner-up is candidate number... Candidate number 30. 30. Candidate number 30 is Miss Sri Lanka. And then from 36, there were three. Angelica. Wow, we're getting nearer to knowing Wali who po. will be crowned. Thank you very much, Sir Arnel Nagaska. And for the inviting. whole team, maraming maraming yeah, salamat congratulations. po. Doc Jesse, thank you. Doc Jesse, hello po. Of course, kay Miss Donnie Barati sa pagano sa amin kanina. And the whole city of San Fernando, maraming yes. maraming salamat po. Sa Denisha, kay Marie Serrano Lumboy, thank you sa lunch. At saka Aloha Ohana Beach Resort. So, okay kina asa doon na eh. Um, pangalawa pala, nag enjoy pa lang kami sa beach pagtingin namin ala size na. Maganda, maganda yung beach. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much. Now, second runner-up to be awarded by Miss Beth Flores and Miss Lean Condit. With an average score of 92.78%, this year's second runner-up to receive 10,000 pesos. Seven? 7,000 7, pesos. So it's 2015. 
2010-7-5-3. Ah, okay. Sorry. Stand corrected. Corrected. Okay. Next. Our second runner-up is candidate number... Number... of Ho and to my beautiful team, the Clumsy team, maraming salamat. Ang uh, magpapapicture sa akin, 50 po isa-isa. <laughs> Once again, this has been Miss Gay San Fernando La Union Universe. This is Angelica Maranan and I'm Matrika May Matmat Centino saying everyone, have a good night and see you next, next year. year. Bye-bye. Congratulations. And I also to Marchi, Maring Aimee Pactores, hello. 